Hello and welcome to pmclounge.com. Today we are discussing the monitor risks process. As always, if you're into reading articles, first link in the description is going to take you to an article on this topic over at our official website pmclounge.com. So check that link out if you want to read rather than watch a video. But if you can watch a video, I'll suggest a bunch of them. Second link in the description is going to take you to an entire playlist of every single video that we have done on risk management knowledge area. We have covered the entire knowledge area. Check the second link out. Very, very important. And that being said, let's get started and understand the monitor risks process. A quick fun fact before we get started and discuss this process, monitor risks process was actually known as control risks process up till PMBOK guide edition five. In guide edition six, this was renamed to monitor risks. All right, so, so far in the risk management knowledge area, you have done extensive risk planning, all those processes in risk management knowledge area, and I will give you the entire PGK mapping in the second slide if you're looking for that. So you've also implemented your risk responses, but can you be 100% sure that a new unidentified risk won't show up? The keyword here is unidentified. After all those processes that you have followed, after all those risk planning that you have done, after all those risk responses that you might have actioned, can you be 100% sure that an unidentified risk, something that is not there in your risk register, will not show up during the course of your project? Are you 100% sure? Nobody can be 100% sure. In fact, on the contrary, you can almost be sure that unplanned risks will indeed show up during the course of your project. That is almost always the case in all the projects, all large complex projects, that is going to be the case. Now, when it comes to such risks, such unplanned risks, the earlier you react, the better it is for the project, for the project team, for the project manager, and for everyone. And that's where monitor risks process comes into play. Making sure you react early. That's where monitor risks plays a very important role. Okay, so as promised, if you're looking for the PGKA mapping, here it is. We are talking about monitor risks process. This process is part of the monitoring and controlling process group. This is the process group. And we are obviously talking about risk management knowledge area. This is the knowledge area. This is the entire PGKA mapping. Like I said, if you're looking for all these processes, we have discussed all of them. If you're looking for videos on these if you want to freshen your memory up second link in the description is going to take you to the playlist it contains videos on every single one of these processes all right let's get back to our discussion on monitor risks and before we move further i'd quickly like to remind you if you're looking for pmp preparation Book recommendations, you can head over to pmclounge.com slash resources. That's where we have listed some of our favorite resources. Hundreds of people have already cleared their PMP exams with the help of these resources. All right, so moving on, monitor risks. This process is obviously a large part of this process is about identifying unplanned risks, but it has other responsibilities too. And what do you do as part of this process other than quickly identifying unplanned risks and making sure you are acting on them? Number one is monitoring the implementation of the agreed upon risk response plans. So you implement risk responses in the previous process, which comes right before monitor risk process, but you monitor that the implementation is being done correctly in this process. Number two is you track the identified risks via risk register. So all the identified risks are available in the risk register. You are going to 
track those risks as part of monitor risks process. So you are tracking the identified risks. You are also looking out for unplanned or the unidentified risks as part of this process. Number three, you also evaluate the overall risk process effectiveness throughout the life of the project. What your risk process is doing as part of your project? Is it doing it right? Is your risk process in place? Is your risk process effective? Is it efficient? All that is something that you are going to track as part of this process, which is the monitor risks process. So these are also some of the functions of the monitor risks process in addition to identifying unplanned unidentified risks. Finally, if you're constantly reviewing your project, its progress and all the other data that the project produces, you will be able to quickly react if a new risk is uncovered. And that is why it is very important whenever you have your project team meetings, be it twice a week, be it once a week, you should perform the process of monitor risks. You should look at your risk register. You should look at any unidentified risks that you or your team looks at and can foresee so that you can uncover them and you can react to those risks as quickly as possible. Monitoring risk thus means keeping a tab on the pulse of the project. That's the whole crux of this process. You are keeping a tab on the pulse of the project. How is the project performing? Is there something that could go wrong in the near future which is not mentioned in your risk register? This process also helps you with making project decisions based on the current information about overall project risk exposure as well as the individual project risks. So when you are staying on top of everything, when you are constantly reviewing your project, obviously your actions are based on the current information and that's the key advantage of this process. Making sure that current information is reviewed, making sure that current information is used in terms of risk management. Finally, I'd like to let you know that the inputs, tools and techniques and outputs of this process are nothing that you don't already know of. And that's where I'd like to pop in the question for this video. Can change requests be an output of this process? What do you think? Like I said, if you have studied PMP courseware, from the first knowledge area till risk management knowledge area, you have read all the possible inputs, all the possible tools and techniques and all the possible outputs of this process already. So take a look at them, introspect. Do you think change request can be an output of this process? Do you think some other outputs are also possible for this process? Do you, what do you think is required as input for this process? What could be the possible tools and techniques for this process? Let me know in the comment. Definitely looking forward to your answers. So that's all that we had in this video. Hope you were able to understand what monitor risks process is all about. Smash that like button if you got value out of it. Subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new content. Also, don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you.